Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Adobe updated Lightroom Classic to version 11.2. In this video, I'm going to go over everything that's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Lightroom Classic. Spoiler alert, there isn't a lot new and interesting in this, the latest version of Lightroom Classic. I mentioned at the top that there really isn't a lot new in this version of Lightroom Classic, although I will be going over what is new in this video. I do want to mention they added one new camera, that's the Sony Xperia Pro 1, uh, that of course is a mobile camera, and they added uh, support for the lenses in that camera as well. So some new lens and camera support in this version of Lightroom Classic. Now as far as the new features, they did add some enhancements to masking. First of all, you could access masking with a keyboard shortcut. Shift W will open up and close the masking tool in the develop module of Lightroom Classic. Now, if you have a Japanese or French installation of Lightroom Classic, it's not Shift W, it's Shift V. But for everyone else, Shift W will open and close the masking tool. Now, what they've done is in the past, if you had multiple masks or a complex mask and you wanted to move all elements of that mask together, you had to hold in the control or command key in as you moved it. Now you don't have to do that. Now this applies only to the brush linear gradient and radial gradient because you cannot move the subject or sky mask in color ranges and luminance ranges. You can't move those, but you could move those other three, brush, linear gradient, radial gradient. And let me show you. Let me put on a radial gradient on this image. So just put this radial gradient on and let's just max out texture and maxed out clarity just for fun. Now, once I've done that and I'm looking at it and I say, well, I don't want to apply it to the lighthouse. So what I'll do is I'll open up the mask here and I'm going to subtract from the mask. and I'm going to get a brush. So we are going to have two elements to this mask, a linear gradient and a subtract brush. So I'm going to subtract it from the lighthouse. All right. So now we have those two elements. Here's the brush. And then right here is the pin for the uh, linear gradient. Now I can move those independently on one another. I could just click on it, right? And there we go. And I can move this linear gradient. I'm not moving the brush. Notice how the brush isn't moving. I could click on the brush and move that. And you notice the linear gradient isn't moving. Well, if you want to move them together, in the past you had to hold in the controller command key and, and click on one of them and move it. Now, all you need to do is collapse this down. You can see that mask one consists of brush one and linear gradient one. Just collapse it down by clicking on it. Now, if I click on this brush and move it, you'll notice the uh, linear gradient moved with it. So now I'm moving them together. So that is new in this, the latest version of Lightroom Classic. Um, also, what is new, in the past, um, you know, when you have this mask window open, it's docked right now. And in the past, you always could take it out of here and move it wherever you want. But what would happen was if I clicked on another image and added a mask to it, Let's say I want to add a, a, a sky mask here. It would always be docked again. Now it will remember where you put it throughout your session. Um, and what I mean by throughout your session, that means when you close Lightroom down and reopen it, it's going to be docked again. So at least you could put it where you want it and it will stay there for your session of developing. Then again, when you close down Lightroom and reopen it, it will be docked again. So that is new in this, the latest version of Lightroom Classic. So those are the enhancements to the mask tool. They've also done uh, some things where they've unlocked uh, multitasking abilities uh, for the library module. Specifically, I'm not going to be able to demo this because I don't want to add a preset, but let's say you had a number of images and you were doing a bulk operation on a number of images. Like for instance here, what do we have? Like 29 images. Let's just say I selected them all and I was adding a preset to this, to all of them. And I had sync on. So it was going to add this preset, whatever it is, one of my 501 
presets I was going to add to this, and it would add it to all. In the past, you couldn't go over really to the library module and do any searching while it did. You had to wait for those presets to get applied or that preset to be applied to all your images. Now you will be able to. So if I apply a preset and it's slowly applying the preset to all 29 images, I'll be able to go to the library module, go to grid view and do like an attribute search or a metadata search or whatever. I'd be able to search and it will be applying that preset in the background to all those images. So that's new. And maybe that would be very useful to some people out there. And that's really all that's new. Uh, that's it. So as I mentioned, uh, there isn't a lot new in this version, uh, but they are, you know, slowly, uh, you know, with every release enhancing the masking a little bit more. So that's good to, you know, see. Um, but hopefully we get some more significant updates in future releases of Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>